I made a free script for After Effects that helps you create radial rigs from your layers really easily, and I'll show you exactly how it works. This is a sample project from my Animation Principles for Motion Designers course, and if I select all of these icons floating around the center app icon, this is roundabout. It's docked in my workspace. It's very simple, just a single button. With those layers selected, if I click it, it's going to immediately create a controller null object in the center of my comp and give me a custom effect with controls for how this radial rig works. So I can increase the radius to evenly distribute these all around. I can turn this arc value down to kind of reveal these app icons all the way around. I can change the starting angle so we can have these rotating around. And notice that they're keeping their orientation. They're not rotating with that movement unless you check on orient to center and then they're going to do exactly that. And the layer order determines how they're distributed around the circle. So if I change the stacking order of these layers, that changes the order that they're spread out radially around the circle. Now we also have this random offset. If you wanna add a little bit of a randomness to the position from the center point, as well as random rotation. So there's options there to customize it. And we even have a random seed value. I'm gonna reset this all back down to its defaults. And the one control I haven't shown you is the first one, influence. This is a percentage control that goes from completely uninfluenced by the rig to fully influenced by the rig. So if I had all of these icons down at the bottom in kind of like an app drawer layout, let me grab all of them and I'll just evenly distribute them and center align them. Then I could animate between no influence and 100% influence very easily, maybe easy ease into these keyframes and then make that a little bit stronger here in the graph editor. And now I'm going to interpolate between those two different states and I could combine that with any of the parameters that I set in here. Maybe I don't want this randomness, so I'll set those back to zero. And I'll animate the start angle with an expression, just time times 40 and then play this back and you'll see all those icons fly into place and automatically start revolving around the center point. So this is just a really great way to create radial rigs and animations with 2D layers, but also with 3D layers. So over here, I'm in the beta version of After Effects where we have access right now to these new 3D primitive shapes. I created a torus, renamed it to donut in the center here. If I just duplicate this eight times, we'll say, select all of them and again, click the roundabout button. This is going to work in the exact same way, but it gives us extra controls since these are 3D. So I could rotate this around a little bit so we can see this at an angle. We have the same radius and arc controls. The start angle will rotate around that Z axis. Then we can tilt this on the X as well as on the Y. And combining some of these creates some very interesting arrays of these values, especially if we orient towards the center and then add that same expression, time times 40, we're gonna get this almost automatically animating set of marble donuts flying around in 3D space. This is true 3D geometry in 3D space with an HDR environment light. Really impressive what we're able to do with very basic shapes and how quickly it renders here inside of After Effects. You can also add and remove objects from a rig at any point. So just select the objects you wanna remove and click the button again. It takes those expressions off, unparents them and adapts everything else that was in the rig to continue working. But you can also shift click on that null object and click again and it will re-add them to that. That works in both 2D as well as 3D. 3D. So I could take these two out, move them over here. And now just those four app icons are what are being controlled by the rig. It's really, really fun to play around with. I think there are a lot of possibilities with it. You can download it for free down in the description. If you want to install it as a dockable UI panel like me, just make sure that you install it in the correct script UI panels folder for your version of After Effects. There are instructions on the product page. If you've never done that before, you'll just need to restart After Effects and then you can find it in the window menu. But you can also install it as a code runner button, which is another script that I I created for free. You can assign it to a button and it works exactly the same way, saves you some UI space that way. You can also put this in tools like KBar or MoBar. I try to make all of these tools work with whatever workflow is best for you. So go to the description to grab those for free. While you're on my website, be sure to check out my other free tools as well as my paid courses if you're interested in becoming a better motion designer. And while you use Roundabout, if you run into any bugs or have any feature requests, let me know down in the description and I'll see what I can do about it. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one.